Hello all, welcome to Sivan's SAP PhD training in association with uh, AMB IT Services and Technologies. In this session, I would like to explain more about the SAP reports. And or we can say that exploring of SAP reports using the transaction codes SAP1 and SAP2. Though we have other dedicated transaction codes to see the SAP reports, these particular two transactions will take us to the specific reports of each and every SAP module. So here, I would like to highlight one more point that by seeing this session, you will also will gain so much of information on the reports using the transaction codes SAP1 SAP and SAP2, and it will definitely increase your confidence in handling the day-to-day -day objects which you are facing. And this recording will give more information on SAP reports of all modules in one transaction code, SAP1 and SAP2. So let us see what exactly SAP1 does and SAP2 does. For example, end users or business users or core users, they will always look for the suitable report. Directly, they wanted to extract the data by typing that particular transaction code in the SAP Easy Access menu. Definitely, a separate menu definitely will help them out to see the suitable reports. That is what SAP has provided, a dedicated reporting menus are known as SAP One Transaction Code, which talks about SAP Easy Access Report Selection, which is nothing but a classical report selection. SAP Two Transaction, which will take us to the SAP Easy Access Info Catalog, which is LIS or the infrastructure or reports. So these two menus will help us a lot or help the end users or business users or core users a lot to achieve whatever they wanted to see the report related information. Let us see further. Sales reports. Like we can see the reports like VA15 inquiries list, VA23 incomplete inquiries, VA25 quotations list, V.24 incomplete quotations. VA05, we already know this VA05 list of sales orders and V.02 incomplete orders, VA06 sales order monitor. At the same time, the billing reports also, if you go to VF05 transaction, we can see the list of billing documents. V.21 displays about log of collective run, VF25 invoice list, V.24 display work list for invoice list, and VB open parenthesis 8 list rebate agreements and VCC1 payment for work list. And we also will see the delivery reports in using the SAP1 classical reports transaction code. So the delivery reports, we can see here the shipping SAP Easy Access report selection screen. Here we can see VL04 process delivery due list, VL10 with user default setting, VL06 delivery monitor, and VL06F general delivery list, and so on. There are so many shipping or delivery related transaction codes or reports are available in the system to see. And also for the credit management, we can see them like FBL5, display customer line items. VKM3, we all know that how to release the credit block using the transaction code VKM3 and VKM4 and VKM5 also we, will, we have seen it in the credit management. So VKM1 blocked the SD documents, VKM2 released SD documents. And also the F.35, which is one of the important transaction code in the credit master data report, the credit master sheet can be seen using the transaction code F.35. So we will see them at high level in the system. This is this like SAP2 transaction will display as the uh, logistics information system, that is LIS reports. Like we can see here, the sales and distribution, incoming customer, incoming orders, and returns MC plus A, sales MC plus E, credit memos MC plus I, customer master, we know already XD03 report, like credit master sheet of that 35. So all these reports, which we can uh, access them by going directly to either SAP1 for the classical report section or SAP2 to LIS reports section. Let us see in the system how it looks like.
So this is the SAP Easy Access menu. We all know very well. And just type SAP one transaction code. Here we can see the entire the screen has been changed. SAP Easy Access report selection screen. SAP menu. Here we can see the logistics general, investment uh, management, controlling, financial accounting, and so on. There are all the other SAP modules are also available. However, our area of interest is sales and distribution module. Here we can see the master data, business partner, customer fact sheet we can see here by specifying the customer details and then the organization details so that it will display all the uh, sales customer details and then information about that particular customer. Conditions and pricing, pricing reports we can see and then display conditions using the index, V slash I6, and then agreements, like we can see the list of customers with the, who are having the customer material info record has been maintained. VA45 list of contracts, VB open parenthesis, eight list rebate agreements, VB35 promotion list, and VB25 list of sales deal. The similar way, we also can see under the sales, we can see one like inquiries, like VA51 inquiries list, V.03, whatever the incomplete uh, inquiries are there, those inquiries we can see at a single screen. So by providing the appropriate information here, so we can execute and then we can see them. For example, if I see this, uh, I'll specify 1000 and then execute. So uh, or otherwise 3000. If the data is available, then it will showcase us and created by, I'll just remove and then execute. That means whatever the inquiries are there, all those inquiries have been converted as quotations. So that is what it is not showcasing here. And also we got 26 sales documents by object status. After that quotations, we can see using these transaction codes, VA25, V.04, and then sales orders, VA05 list of sales orders. VA06 list of sales order monitor. So sales order monitor. So if you execute it and you can see those all those things. So you can specify the document type and then execute. Or so see it will display the list of sales or number of orders are very very, very high here. There are around 22,247 entries are available. So you can extract them and then give it your client as per the client's requirement, if at all. And you can even filter it out using the sales area. Only open sales orders you wanted to see, you can see them. So this is a very uh, powerful tool of list of sales orders, which we can always use it. Duplicate documents we can see, incomplete orders we can see, and so on. Contracts. So like we have a list of contracts, is there any incomplete contracts are there those things also we can see them so incomplete contracts means if the pricing is not complete so then those contracts we can display them and then we can see them what price it has to be so those price adjustments we can do that and then we can process them so that it will be removed from the incomplete list like this under the billing document you can see billing documents we have 05 list of billing documents invoice lists, and then rebates. Each and every section, each and area, we will be having so many reports are available under this particular SAP Easy Access report selection. For each and every module, we can find it out. So delivery monitor, all those things. So shipping and transportation, VT11, VT12, VT15, and VT16. VT22, display or change document shipment, VT70, output for shipments, all those stuff we can see here. So this is about the SAP 1 transaction code. What is SAP 2? So from here, you can come back using the transaction code slash n s triple zero. It will take us to the SAP Easy Access menu again. So from here again, we can go to SAP 2 transaction code. It is like SAP Easy Access Info Catalog. This is also having Apart from the logistics, it is also having the accounting, treasury, controlling, investments, material management, and so on. 
the respective module person can go to the respective module and then see the reports. This is like this. In MC, open parenthesis A, where we can see customer incoming order selection, returns, MC plus A, sales, MC plus E, credit memos, whatever the credit memos are there for that particular customer. We can see them, customer master, individual prices, and credit master sheet, everything one by one. So this is like info structures, LIS uh, in reports. At the same time, under this, we can see the materials also, material information, incoming orders, returns for that particular material, what for that particular material, how the sales has happened for this particular material, credit memos for this particular material with respect to the material, material master, price list, all those details we can see them. With respect to sales organization also we can see them. MC open parenthesis I with respect to the incoming orders, sales MC plus two, credit memo MC plus six, and shipping point related, like we can see the delivery related information, MC, open parenthesis, and U, shipping point delivery selection. So each and every screen, I'd like to request you all, this whatever I've been explained here, please go through your system. Try to just at least go to SAP 1 or SAP 2 transaction code, and then try to execute those transaction codes, so that you will come to know what is the input selection criteria. So these reports, because whenever you get into your real-time job, so only these reports only, they will ask us to incorporate some of the changes so that if they may ask you to include plant or to this particular report. Whether it is possible or not, that we have to discuss with the technical team. However, it may be any kind of a report, whether the selection screen doesn't have the appropriate field which is required by the business. So those field we need to update you over here. That means we have to enhance this particular report or the transaction code. That means this is the program so which we have to give it to our technical consultants so that they will check all the possibilities and then update us. Yes, it is possible and then we can proceed with the change by including the input selection criteria of plan or shipping file or storage location specific. Whatever may be, it is an example only I am giving. So whatever the possibilities are there, those possibilities, we will have to explore them. The way today which we have explored the SAP 1 transaction code and the SAP 2 transaction code. So here SAP Easy Access Info Catalog. From here, we can go to SAP Easy Access again, slash n S triple zero. It will take us to the SAP Easy Access. From here, logistics, sales and distribution, under sales, here we can see the LIS reports from information system, inquiries, VA51, V.03, whatever we have seen there in the single transaction code. So the same thing also available, some of the transaction codes here in this logistics under the SAP Easy Access menu. So this also we can explore. So this will definitely boost our confidence so that we can easily handle our day-to-day -day objects, whatever we have been facing, and then we can provide the solutions to the the business users. So like this, you quotations, orders, contracts, scheduling agreements, and so on. So you can explore what all the transaction codes are there, why we require and why use this particular transaction code, why this is this report is required. So in real time, normally, all those these transaction codes only will be there. And they may be based on the client's requirement. Suppose V.02, incomplete orders, maybe the plant might have inclu included here or maybe the shipping point might have included here by enhancing this particular program. And they will put it as GSD underscore V.02. Like that, they will name it as. So that is what happens in real time. So this is all about the exploration of the transaction codes, SAP1 and SAP2. So this is very, very, very important uh, transaction course. One must know for each and every module, we can see them. We can, we can see all those reports in single transaction code. So knowledge sharing never ends. Thank you all. Have a nice day.